Good morning, guys. Our stay here has been awesome, but it's time to move on. We are currently on our Brazil road trip, so we're gonna get in the car and we're going to the next place. Okay, we're on our way to Itacare. We decided to stop right here and try to look at this lagoon that's nearby. So we're gonna try that cacao juice. Suko. Cacao. A fruit we're unfamiliar with. We might get some juice. So we're near Baragrande still, and we're doing something a little different today. This is not a beach, this is a lagoon here. Thought we would stop by on the way to our next destination and see this lagoon. So this is the juice of cacao, a fruit we have never tried before, not sure what it is. Pretty sweet, a little sour, and it almost seems like it has like a syrupy consistency to it. It's different than anything we've had before. And here's our view of the lagoon. Right across from the lagoon, you can pretty much see the beach. So let's go to the beach as well while we're at it. Now this is really a private beach. Nobody out here. I don't think people come here to go to the beach. So, for miles. This is one of the most beautiful drives. There are palm trees all around us. We're just on this narrow little sandy road. It's kind of hard to drive through because it's almost all sand. We think it's meant for the quads, the ATVs. So hopefully we get through it without getting stuck. from our Pusada in Itacare. We're about to get breakfast in here. Pusadas usually come with breakfast, so we're excited to see what it's like. My wrist is possibly broken. I haven't really been able to use it the last few days and I don't, ah, don't know why. So we might have to look for a doctor here. Wow, this is beautiful. I like it. Beautiful setting. So, what do we have? They made sure to put the bug netting over it, which is nice. Eggs, some sort of chocolate bread, coxinha, mini coxinha, sausage, cheese and meat, bread, watermelon, melon, coffee and milk, guayaba juice, which is guava juice, I think, and kaja juice. Mmm. Oh. Good spread. And where do you want to sit? Any place is awesome. Like that up there. That would be cool, but no table. I got a cafe con leche. And then the 
this juice, which we think is a guava juice, and then some eggs and cheese. <laughs> Pretty basic. Mm hmm. Probably get some fruit soon. That's a good start. We just finished our breakfast. We had a full, awesome day planned, but unfortunately, Alex is having some wrist issues and we don't know why. Sorry, I'm ruin all, ruining all the fun for you guys. <laughs> we were gonna show you some awesome stuff today. Uh, we asked you guys on Instagram to help us out to find a doctor or see what we should do. Go to a pharmacy, some people say. Some have given us addresses for a doctor. So we have an address here, one of you guys sent us. So I think we're gonna try going to the doctor and see what they say. And hopefully figure this out because Alex can't really use his right hand right now at all. Like he can't lift a cup of coffee, he can't open a sugar packet, he can't edit, he can't film. Can't so, wipe my Don't say it. So this is not good at all. And figuring this out in a foreign country is probably not gonna be very easy. Not a lot of people in this town speak English and we don't speak very good Portuguese. So wish us luck. This should be an experience. If you didn't know, I edit all these videos every day. And so if we can't figure out how to fix it, it could be the end of the channel. Can't really type anymore. Or so. I'm gonna have to learn how to do this. So sadly, our first full day in Itacare is gonna be spent trying to figure out what's going on with Alex's wrist. Things work a little bit differently here. I guess here in Brazil, you can go to pharmacies and the pharmacist can help you figure out if you need to go to a doctor or what's wrong. So that would be pretty nice if we can do that first and figure out the next steps. So. Pharmacy it is. We were gonna go to some beaches and do some really amazing things that we've heard of around here, but because of this, we're just gonna go through the town, go to the pharmacy, and probably spend some of the day in the town. So we thought today, we'll just show you the town. It is pretty cool. It has like this hippie beach vibe, very colorful. It's different than anywhere we've been in Brazil so far. So it's a Sunday and apparently this place is normally packed full of people, especially on this main strip where we're walking. But right now, it's pretty dead. There's like no one around, as you can see probably. <laughs> but we really like it here. This is a beautiful town. It has such a good vibe. Mm -hmm. This might be one of my favorite towns in Brazil so far. I wish we could just hang out for a week or two and just... <laughs> just chill that's kind of the vibe here it's like beach chill out but we have a ton to see in brazil so we won't be here that long we are moving at a fast pace so in each place we're going we only have a few days unfortunately i'm sure there's a lot to do here you could easily spend a week look this is carved out of a tree like a palm tree that is like the roots the bottom of a palm tree i think and they made it into his hair <laughs> that's pretty cool art there We have arrived. What the person said, pharmacia? For. Que é o Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Use your translator. Um, yeah, it's. It hurts. Uh, he doesn't know English. I don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go right now and they will see him? <laughs> Is there anything open right now, today? No. Nada. Nada. So am I am. <laughs> oh no. What is the name of the place we will go tomorrow? <laughs> so 
since all the clinics are closed on Sundays, we've made the decision to go to a hospital. We think he might need an x-ray, so we'd probably have to go to the hospital anyway. Since we haven't really explained it yet, uh, my hand doesn't really move suddenly. It's kind of hard to close my fingers and I can't really move it from side to side. It hurts a lot uh, when I do anything with it. Can't really sleep, can't do anything, so. Mm, we got to address sweet. it. And the weird uh, thing is we don't know how it happened. There was no sudden accident or anything. It just happened over time. So we got to figure this out. Mm -hmm. Hospital experience in Brazil. Here we come. <laughs> Never thought we'd be doing this. <laughs> Just parked and now it's raining, so I guess this is a good day to go to the hospital since the weather's not great anyway. It's getting worse by the second. Now it hurts just to, oh. <laughs> just to have it down like a regular human, it hurts. So oh. everyone keeps oh. telling us that the healthcare in Brazil is free. Obviously for the citizens it's free, but I don't know if it's free for tourists. Luckily we have travel insurance, but we've never used it before, so we don't know how it works really. So wish us luck. We have no idea how this is gonna go. had much luck with English yet, but we're checking in, kind of told her by hand signals, <laughs> as much as I could, what's going on. So she asked for the document and now she's filling out a form and then I'm guessing we wait. <laughs> Fingers crossed. an acai place along the way. There's always room for acai. <laughs> We're just on the side of the road, like off the side of the highway. I don't even know if we can park here. Look at how we're parked. <laughs> Traveling down this road and we saw this. So we parked. Now we can start our hospital road trip right. <laughs> Look Acai at that. with mango and banana. That mango looks amazing. $2. Take off our masks and put these on instead that they provided. Alex has no words, he's in pain. My mind isn't working right now. I just want to get this fixed. Uh, uh. It was a long drive to get here. We drove to Ilias and it took, it seemed like about two hours. But it was a gorgeous drive, and we saw that there's a lot of cool things to see on the way here. So maybe we'll stop on the way back. Hopefully, if this doesn't take too long. We don't know how long this is going to take because this is a public hospital. 
It's official. He's a patient. We stopped really quickly at a churrascaria <laughs> where we've been trying to come for a while. They have a bunch of different kinds of meats. It's basically a Brazilian barbecue and we're getting something to go. So we're not having a full experience of it, but uh, we're getting some picanha, some rice, some fries, some salad, and we're bringing it back to the hospital. So it's going to be probably about a two hour wait to be seen. It looks like there's about five people at the whole hospital like waiting to be seen, but still it's taking two hours. I don't know why, but we're just going to eat really quickly, but take it there to make sure that we are there when they call my name. So for a 65 real, or about $12, we got all this food. There are six of these pots of food. Salad, these beans, which are really good. We've never had those before. Fries, meat, must be pecan. What's at the bottom? Uh, farofa, I farofa? think. Farofa? Oh, there's something. Oh, I don't know what that is. And then rice at the bottom. And we wait, making the best of it. We decided to make ourselves a bowl with all of those things. So, so there's rice, the picana, and beans. There's some salad that we have to add on there that's really good. And we figured out what this is. It's actually super good. It's plantains, cooked plantains, or banana. It's very sweet. And then it has farofa on it, we think. Pretty good. How was it? Very good, actually. Great for the price. Mm, look at that bowl. This is enough to feed a whole family of four, probably. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to make the best of this boring day. It's turned out all right. It's not over yet though. Yeah, we'll see when we get the news. He's gonna be getting an x-ray and that'll give us some answers. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. I've been waiting in the waiting room this whole time. I decided to come up to a car and we'll see how long this takes. Here he comes. Hello, hello. <laughs> Finally. Uh, let's see what he says, I'm nervous. He's got x-ray pictures. All right, uh. what's the news? Oh, well, hopefully they're right. They said it's not broken or fractured or any of that. This is my hand. Okay. And it says nothing's wrong. It's just a muscle thing. They, they don't see anything. So they don't really know, but it's not the bone. It's probably just a muscle, a tendon, something like that. So they gave me some meds for the inflammation. And he said, keep it in a uh what i've been keeping it in like a cast and not a cast <laughs> whatever it's called a brace. a brace and it should be better in a in a week he says if i use these medications that it's just like a muscle or tendon thing but i can barely move it so <laughs> so let's hope that's right wow but, this whole day just to figure that out huh <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's good news that it's not broken. It's good to rule things out. It's good that I could be back to normal in a week, maybe. So not we months. have to go get these meds tonight, or do they have them here? Uh, they don't have them here. So if we see a pharmacy open, we'll get them tonight. These, and then anything else? Some kind of... No, well, that's it. Just some kind of... They wanted to give me a shot in my butt. You should have done like, it. No, 